Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for taking the time out for yourself, seeing the things that you truly want and aim towards that and never giving up on your dreams. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have uh, been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact and gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction also, uh, if you feel like the video gives you good information or even good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really dark times right now and need uh, confirmation or validation towards their soul path or even their life journey, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support, and I love you from the bottom of my heart, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my... um meditation music i'm using is called relaxing relaxing indian flute yoga music and i'll post that link in the description box below it's like like a little mirror cat or something sitting next to buddha and it looks so so cute um and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas if you if you're ready to get uh to get your blessings to the next chapter uh forgive and let go of anything that is destroyed destroying destroys your inner peace and that is so true it was like i was talking to a soul sister of mine earlier today and i guess it's like when it rains and stuff like that so many messages comes to me you know if it just depends on what you know synchronicities the numbers that you're showing you know numbers that you see you know um sometimes we can go through stuff that is really trying us you know um you're like oh i'm so ready to get rid of it i'm just so ready to go to that next chapter you're just so annoyed with the situation you're in and you know it, it's something like in the back of your mind that keeps telling you you should have been gone past this already and it's true but it's like also you know it's playing like you know, a catch 22, actually, you know, you have divine timing, but it's just like, if you're not catching the big picture of that lesson of the situation you're in, you have to really analyze yourself, analyze your thoughts, analyze your feelings. That is what is, um, they're asking you to look at because especially if there's something that's going on and it's been going on for so long like oh my god i know i should have been able to get through this oh my god you know something like that and it's just like i know something crazy going on because it's just like this lights keep flashing i keep seeing it on this side and then it's just like pew you know i don't know what's going on but it's just like you know i was asking my spirit guys what is going on that i'm not seeing what is it that you're telling me you have to analyze your thoughts and it's just like with me going through a situation there was just like a thorn in my side and it's just like you know when you're really telling your feelings about something and you can be very annoyed especially when it comes to a person or a situation and you're talking bad about it you have to be able to let that go and i had to tell myself that you have to be able to let it go because especially when everything gets quiet they're just like you know you just hear the universe is like i'm just waiting to see if you're gonna ever stop talking about this you know because you know how certain situations there are you know how certain people are you can't change them but you can change yourself change about how they look at you know how you look at that person how you look at them you have to love people beyond every measure especially when you know you're stuck in a situation with them and you know you are sure as hell ready to go you know um there are certain things my dad keeps coming back and telling me you have to heal you have to be happy and i'm just like how am i supposed to be happy when you're around idiots like this all the time and i'm just like you know what you gotta be good you have to be nice um and it's like not actually kissing somebody's butt but if you know there are certain things that you want in life and you desperately want that you have to not allow that certain person or that certain situation distract you from the things that you're aiming for because when you start putting focus on that situation you're manifesting that mess to be going through that rotating door again because there is like when we went through that other phase and you see how that light just flashed when i said that we went through another phase where you know we have worn our welcome out from that that old life and we truly have and i know this situation i've worn my welcome out on this because it's just like i'm starting to get really repulsed 
you know, about certain situations. I'm just like, ugh, I need to stop, you know. And it's just like you really want these blessings in your life. You know you got big things that are heading towards your way. You have to just not allow certain situations to get up under your skin. If it's destroying your inner peace, let that mess go. Because your inner peace, your sanity, your happiness, your blessings are far more important than what these people are trying to do. Because it's just like, devil already know their weaknesses and they will allow their inner peace. Because you know, if you're around anybody, like I told y'all the other day about not taking it personal. And it's true, I have to keep telling myself that, don't take it personal. It's just these people's inner peace is like when they see you reflecting out of, you know, you've been through so much hell and they see that you're going out your way. You're doing good things for people. You know, even little blessing come, comes to me. You know, certain people just get aggravated just because I got that blessing. And I said, that is so sad. You know, that allows you to see the weakness in somebody. It's just like anytime, you know, if you, you're around people, you know, it's just like we attract narcissistic people. And, you know, just the littlest things that comes into your life that, that makes them bitter towards you, that says a lot about them and less about you. You keep doing that. You allow your, your blessings to come in. You know, if you are heading towards this next chapter in your life that you really, truly want, you have to let it go with love. You know, you have to pray for that person, pray that they can heal beyond ever met, whatever measures they got, because it's like right now, their universe is telling me so many of us are manifesting so many good things in our life, but we are not going to be able to have that blessing if we still having this anger and annoyance about certain situations and certain people. You have to be able to make peace with it. Don't keep talking about it because the way you keep talking about it, it'll be like you, it's still affecting you in some kind of way. And I had to think about like my situation with my mom's ex-husband. He always told me, you know, anytime you, you, you come to face to face with somebody who has really did some mess to you in your life and you pop off at them as soon as they say something they know they still got you and if you don't pop off at them that scares them more than anything because they don't know what's going to happen next they don't they don't they don't know how to figure you out especially if they got you figured out you know with my situation with them they always had me figure out they knew when i was going to pop off they knew when i was going to snap especially with this situation all the truth is out now it now it's known why you did the things you did and it's like i had to make peace with that i said i hadn't i could not allow that situation to keep bothering me even though they did the most utmost gutter butt stuff i almost said the cuss word gutter butt stuff that they can possibly do to a person i had to let that go with love you know and it, it's just like when you can be proud of yourself about certain things I allowed myself to let that go so it's just like they did the most worst thing that you could possibly do to a person is alter their identity and it's just like with these little situations it's just insecurities just pushing up so you already know that you have these blessings coming towards you you know especially with all these different moon phases is coming you know you get signs that you are on your way to that next level it's just a, when you know you are that close like your blessing could be right here and you're right here you know what i'm saying so your blessings right here and it will always take that most littlest thing that is so hard for you to be able to release because you know the devil sees that you are really close to it and they have to be able to make sure like oh let me let me just disrupt their life a little bit more so it draws them back a little bit further because i can't allow them to have that even though they know you're going to get it but they want to make sure you go through hell and high water to, just to make sure you get it or they're going to try to destroy you before you can get to it so it's just like, if you know you have these things coming for you in your life, yes, you do have to go through divine timing. But you also have to make sure you're not hindering yourself from getting towards that. Because it's just like, the more and more you keep at it with these certain things, and I had to tell myself that as well, you're going to keep going through that same door, and you're going to keep being in this situation until you learn. And it's like, we already done went through a thousand lifetimes. We don't need to be here. No <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't need to be here a little, you know, another year or two or anything like that because you're coming so close to the things that are manifesting in your life and you have been working hard towards that and you know what you've been manifesting you know you've been pushing out positivity working on yourself healing from a lot of things do not allow this little situation keep you from something very big in your life and i have to keep telling myself that don't you do that <laughs> don't you do that don't allow certain things you know to be in your life that you know you can't change you know you can change you you can change how you respond to it. You can, uh, you know, it, uh, you're responsible with, you know, how you, you know, react to it and what 
what things you focused on in your life and being focused on whatever destroys your inner peace is not good to focus on you focus on how the heck you gonna you know you're gonna keep your inner peace at peace how you're gonna keep yourself happy how you're gonna be able to keep yourself moving because you are so close to something that you, you I mean it's just right around the corner for you so you have to be able to know maintain your happiness maintain that high frequency that you have worked so hard for do not allow ignorant people or ignorant situations keep you at that low frequency so I hope you are able to uh, re uh, resonate with this video I'm trying to debate if I'm still do another video it's still thunderstorming and I really hate doing videos when it thunderstorms especially being on you know on electronics and stuff like that uh, it gets kind of crazy and I know my energy is like all over the place not like in a bad way but it's like really heightened right now to where it's like the lights and stuff are <laughs> you know are going crazy for me so um just let me know if you uh resonate with the content of this video i pray to anybody who got any kind of situation they're going towards you know and i know it's a hard time uh that you're having hard times with certain things and trust and believe it is almost over you just have to stay focused keep your eyes on your prize you know whatever you have to do to maintain that good mindset do that you know as long as it's not hurting you or hurting anybody else do something that's very therapeutic for you do things that will keep you on the uplift make you happy do anything you know that keeps you there so but don't allow those negative situations keep you there because you don't you need you deserve to go to the next chapter of your life don't allow yourself to go through that ro rotating door you already know how it is there you see what you got to let go of just let it go so like i said like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line let me know if you uh resonate um give me a thumbs up and also share and i'm gonna give my post notification shout out to robert cole and um let me see who else uh treasure seasons much love to you as well and i will see you on my next video much love S send out as much love and like positive positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored forever loved and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days much love peace